What's good YouTube? It's your boy LB Skinny and today I just got worried that it was a NYC hospital shooter and it was a, a, identified as a doctor named Henry Bello or Bello. Um, I'm not too sure on what's going on. It said it was, a, it was a gunman. He killed one and injured multiple people before killing himself. I'm about to see. I'm Eric Bowling along with Kagany K. Williams and Cat Temp. A lot of fast moving events at the scene of a Bronx hospital shooting this afternoon where the gunman is in the now Bronx. dead, but we're going to go live to Fox News correspondent David Lee Miller, who is at the scene in the Bronx with the very latest. David. We are at Bronx Lebanon Hospital on the Grand Concourse in the Bronx. You can see the hospital behind me over my shoulder. At this hour, there are reports that a gunman is now dead. Authorities say I didn't hear anything about it, honestly. Who, uh, began firing shortly around 3 o'clock, is now dead. Not clear if he took his own life or if he was killed by police. We are also told that three people have been shot. We have not confirmed that. Three people that. shot. I spoke to an uh, individual who was here shortly after the shooting. He said that there were initial reports that... One person was shot on the 16th floor of the hospital. That person somehow managed to make it to the ninth floor. Um, and that two additional... Now, I wonder, is this like uh, someone trying to do something crazy, as in, like, trying to take out people for no reason? Or I wonder, was this like an actual personal problem between the doctor who did it and whoever he shot? I'm not too sure. Y'all let me know in the comment section. People were shot, one on the eighth floor, one on the second floor. As for the shooter, our local affiliate is identifying him as Dr. Henry, Henry Bello. Our Henry affiliate Bello. is reporting that he worked here up until very recently at Bronx Lebanon Hospital in the Bronx. He recently lost his job. Uh, this may have been a work-related incident, but again, authorities have not said anything. About that sounds like another one of uh, another like one of these big news stories that I've heard before. I can't remember which one. It might have been the Facebook killer where he like. The Facebook, yeah, the Facebook killer where he like got fired or something and came back. No, I think he was mad about a girl. It was something about someone getting fired. I'm about to play this back. I don't know. Is reporting that he worked here up until very recently at Bronx Lebanon Hospital. So yeah, the doctor he worked there and got fired, and it's saying like he came back and shot up the place. I'm, I'm hearing. In the Bronx, he recently lost his job. Uh, this may have been a work-related incident, but again, authorities have not said anything officially so far about a motive. We expect that in a few moments' time, uh, there is going to be a news conference. We are told that the uh, mayor of the city of New York, Bill de Blasio, is here, as is the police commissioner. But worth emphasizing at this time Damn. is that uh, a shooter has been killed. The hospital remains I mean, at least down, something's happened to him here, just out here on the loose. You can see... All along the Grand Concourse, which is a major roadway through the Bronx, accommodating uh, at least six lanes of traffic, is completely, completely shut down. We are told that uh, people were sheltering in place, and just a few moments ago, many of them left the hospital, breathing a sigh of relief. We expect to learn more in just a few minutes. Back to you. Uh, thank you, David. Yeah, um, so what well, I'm hearing from that, there's not too much information out right now, but, well, yeah, it says it right there. The gunman, he killed one person, injured six people, I'm guessing by way of shooting. And um, he got fired about a month before and came back mad. I'm sure there's more to it. I'm sure there's some, some reason he's not just going to get fired and come back mad. Like, there's something to it. Um... I don't know. I don't honestly. I don't like paying attention to these big news stories where they posted on all the different outlets because I feel like that's damn fake news. I feel like they do that shit just to just to throw something out there. But then again, I could be wrong. It could just be my conspiracy theory side coming out. But I don't know. But yeah, I hope everyone that like the six that got injured. I hope they do get better. R.I.P. to the person killed. Uh, yeah. Man, till next time, YouTube. I'm out.